Hi guys, today we're going to do another layout and um, I will also try um, and explain something that I think I haven't done in my uh, previous videos so we will see how um, that goes and um, well mainly what, what it's all about is um, I kind of showed you my um, system but I haven't explained how I got there. So there you have the you, ha you have seen the results and you've seen me using it over and over again in my um, previous uh, Saturday, Sunday plan with me videos. But you haven't seen how I um, got there. So how what was the thinking process behind it? Um, and this I will try to. Um, explain to you um, by making another of um, those um, by making another of uh, these layouts so you will see it done from scratch from just a tiny list of things that needs to happen on um, daily monthly um, the uh, weekly monthly and yearly basis and then I will show you um, how I get this uh, done okay but um, for the layout of um, the next week I was thinking that I kind of didn't want a lot because my previous week was a bit much <laughs> A bit too uh, much work this one I wanted to keep nice and um, nice and um, easy nice and uh, um, minimal decorations and um, I just wanted to be lots lots of function and uh, minimal decoration so I will show you um, what my process looks like and um, afterwards I will come back to you and uh, we will chat some more okay so uh, let's dive in and I'll see you in a bit another thing I will um, I want to show you my tray with embellishments now um, a lot of them I made myself like uh, for example these these are just um, these are just cutouts um, or um, punch outs. I have round a uh, round punch, and I have used them. Now these are um, like uh, little um, cork um, uh, cork patterned uh, stickers, actually. They stick, but I think um, for my layout, they're too bulky. They're too thick. So I won't be using them, but uh, for example, I really like uh, this and these are the embellishments that I made myself and I will link the video where I did that uh, below this one. So um, as you can see, it's there's there are quite of a lot of uh, things that I have here, uh, for example like these some of them are bought some of them are made some of them uh, came in a package like for example um, this was a package of um, all kinds of uh, cutouts or um, embellishments or die cuts um, um, they came in a pack and there's lots of like explore always and forever a lot of hearts feathers and stuff like that so i think i might be using uh, i will be using them for my layout um there's also like these ikea tags but i'm not gonna use them now but i think i will i kind of don't you have this kind of problem that you have all of this uh overwhelmingly cute cool stuff but you're kind of not sure how not not sure how to use it but when you actually are doing a craft project or a layout like this um you kind of don't think about them 
and um, that's what I have that's what I always have because I have um, also got um, a lot of stickers a lot of a lot of um, rub-ons uh, a lot of these guys so I kind of that's why I started this um, uh, happy planner series because I kind of wanted you guys to um, see how I do it every week but also like use up my stash because I have a lot a lot of craft supplies and I um, read all of your comments on my previous videos and I think that you do too <laughs> so I kind of I um, want us to um, to use our supplies and to use the stuff that we buy and that we love and kind of like develop our own styles right now I really don't have a style everything in this um, in this planner is kind of a mashup of uh, things that I try things that I love things that I uh, want to do like uh, for example I really want to uh, be good at illustrating but I'm not th quite there yet because I just started and um, I really want to like use all these die cuts because they're so cute but I uh, kind of never have the time because I'm always on the go and I'm always planning always um, I have to get this done fast and that's why I encur encourage you to sit down with me take this uh, time that uh, we plan together um, just you know as um, kind of like a, kind of like a permission you know you, like you have my permission to just sit down and work on your planner and it doesn't have to be perfect and doesn't have to be pretty and it doesn't have to uh, contain all of the stuff that I'm showing you or uh, the supplies that I am using um, or even it you know it doesn't really have to be decorated at all just uh, planning in itself I think is really therapeutic and uh, um, I feel like when I plan um, my life becomes less chaotic and um, I get uh, more uh, stuff done in a week and I feel like it's really my life it's more um, I'm more happy this way um, maybe you are not <laughs> not like that maybe you kind of um, like to wing it and um, you like just to keep your planner pretty and yeah, and that's okay too um, just sitting down uh, you know taking time for yourself and just um, watching this video and uh, <laughs> you know just decorating your planner and not really planning anything it's already good because you're taking time for yourself you're taking time to do uh, something that you love and this is also good so I'm encouraging you whoever you are <laughs> out there to just sit down and um, color um, you know take embellishments you know just paste them in your planner um, take stickers uh, decorate or not at all just plan 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 your little heart out so it's kind of like do what you love <laughs> you have my permission and just you know enjoy it is that when you do those things uh, like plan and uh, take time for yourself and uh, be um, you know take time to be creative um, your life gets enriched by that and this is what I wanted to say so enrich your life with um, crafty things <laughs> or not crafty at all just planning is also very good so um, enrich your life uh, that way and um, you know it will be you will see that you will get happier feel happier feel more energized um, at the end of the week okay so I bubbled on long enough I think so we will dive into this video
Okay, so I've got my um, uh, this planner where my self-care uh, routine is and right now it's not really, um, how do I say it, it's not really accurate. So the way I do stuff right now, it's not really how this is um, planned out. So I will make another um, another of these diagrams and I will uh, show you what I have right now. So um, whenever you want to plan something like this, like for example your uh, kids schedule um, or your uh, meal planning system or your uh, cleaning schedule, you'll need a list of things first. So for example you'll need a theme like for example here is self-care um, I have created a list of self-care things that I really um, love and adore um, for example uh, dancing to my favorite tune um, watching my favorite TV show or um, drawing well, reading, of course, um, um, gardening, reading a magazine, um, just a simple cup of tea is uh, for me already a great thing. So this is my um, list and I know <laughs> there's a lot of things drawn on it. Um, I usually do that I, when, I, when I think uh, I also like to doodle and I don't know if just that's just my thing or um, you, you can. Uh, relate to me but so um, we have this schedule so we will uh, I will be copying just this daily weekly monthly and yearly um, and I will leave all the things just the way they are so right now I'll, I'm copying this schedule but without the contents of it and the contents I will later um, write in my um, right in my schedule. So um, let's go.
So um, here is how the MT schedule here uh, looks like. And um, the really um, the part that was really not working for me was the top part, um, the daily part. I have I had like yoga and meditation, enjoying mint tea or coffee, or and planning my uh, weekly activities. And I kind of I do that, but I also um, spend um, less planning and pre-planning on my uh, activities. Um, in the evening because I kind of do it in the beginning of the week and then if I have any appointments or stuff that I need to do for someone or my schedule changes I will jot it down whenever I have um, the time that day but it's not really necessary in the evening and the evening I just glance at my um, schedule for that day and that's it so I kind of I don't really do much planning in the evening um, but my morning is um, also different here I have like more uh, yoga and meditation but I kind of I'm already like a month in in um, early start um, of my morning so I kind of rise up really early at 5 a.m. and I um, have done this um, NaNoWriMo challenge I don't know if you know this um, it's a challenge for those who want to write a book in one month and I participated and I wrote it yay for me so now I have a manuscript of a book uh, but uh, bes that's beside the point the point is I um, for a month I was uh, rising early to write um, around 5 a.m. so it won't so it wouldn't interfere with my daily schedule of the things that I must uh, do and usually if you have something like uh, that like a creative task that you want to do and you keep on um, uh, keep on procrastinating on it because you think that the stuff that you need to do daily like uh, like your daily chores or financial stuff or uh, appointments it kind of gets always uh, for me at least at the background of my mind and then I um, realize at the end of the day that I haven't uh, for example written for NaNoWriMo um, challenge and uh, then I get really anxious and really um, upset with myself and I didn't want to do that so I kind of scheduled blocked out the time uh, from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. for writing each morning and um, that's how I accomplished that challenge um, now uh, the challenge is over so I'm not writing anymore um, each and every day at uh, 5 a.m. but I want to replace the time because I kind of already am in the habit of rising up early I want to keep that 5 a.m. start um, and I want to exercise uh, meditate and draw so these are the things that I really uh, love to do. Uh, well, not I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with exercising. I swear, you guys. I kind of have like this. Um, whenever I do, I have done it. You know, it's over. It's done. I kind of like have this uh, great feeling of accomplishment, but. Uh, the moment I say to myself I need to start ex exercising like right now I kind of have like this feeling of dread and I don't know why because I always feel great afterwards so I, I just it's a, my, it's a mystery to me my mind is a mystery so um, the midday I'm kind of keeping because midday uh, self-care there's no there's no such thing as midday self-care guys but I kind of like to just enjoy a cup of tea or coffee and uh, like for five minutes or ten minutes like sitting down and closing my eyes just you know taking a break and um, that's kind of like self-care right um, and then in the evening I had like pre-planning a weekly activity and I changed it to reading time I kind of my evenings are always here I'm, I'm always doing this so it's kind of like a staple for me so right now this is a staple and this is a staple and maybe it will change maybe it won't I don't know so uh, and here I have this um, I have this round, round punch and you have seen me decorate my wig with those kind of uh, 
with those uh, cutouts, punch outs, um, punches, whatever. <laughs> I kind of get lost in translation here. Um, so I have, um, I just punched in a cardboard lots of um, circles. And um, the smaller ones are yearly and monthly and I can just, you know, write in the names of the months and uh, the numbers of the week. And I have here five, um, but, you know, mo a month has a four, uh, week four weeks usually. Um, there might be some like appendix of three or four days at the end of the month. Uh, but I kind of, I... Um, wrote in an alternative so maybe I don't want to do uh, the stuff that's um, on the four uh, scheduled on these um, four weeks so uh, you know the alternative is always a great thing to have I think mm, and I wanted this time to um, have seven days in uh, instead of uh, six days so I included Sunday and uh, that's why maybe you see it, maybe you don't. There are, uh, they, I first drew and um, there were like six of them and uh, I had to um, push them a little bit um, closer together to have them all um, on the, in the space right here. So now I have all seven of my days and I can basically... Um, well, I, this doesn't really make sense for me right now because I always have the reading time here. And uh, but my yearly, I think I, I, I will. But I think I will just copy my yearly and um, my monthly. I will change up some things, but my monthly will also be um, almost the same. So uh, this was. I just wanted to show you that um, there the planning. Well, I kind of always had this idea that I needed to plan right out of my head, and some people can do that. Some people are like jotting down like um, stuff that they need to do, like a to-do list, um, from their head into their planner. But I'm not one of those people. I kind of have um, have to take a task and break it off into several pieces and write it out on a paper, make a list um, and usually on a scratch paper or a post-it note like this when, and scrabble on it and uh, then I can um, kind of like figure out how it fits in my uh, daily, weekly, monthly or yearly routine. Uh, some some things, um, for example, um, this is the, this is really easy to explain on a cleaning calendar. So so some things like for example um, um, decluttering and organizing your crafting supplies or your closets. Some things aren't supposed to happen weekly or daily, you know, or even monthly. Um, some things are usually done twice a year or maybe once a year and this is make sense to put them in the yearly box. Now there are some things that need to happen monthly, I mean like um, once a week, um, uh, like once in every uh, two weeks or once every four weeks and then you can write them at, at monthly. Then there are things that need to get done weekly like for example ironing, uh, vacuuming, um, like you know you're taking care of your bathrooms and stuff like that, cleaning your toilet. You know these things need to happen weekly. For some people the cleaning maniacs, maniacs out there they kind of do like daily but I, I stick it to, I stick to uh, this uh, schedule and it works out for me great um, I never have like the you know I never have any problems with it so think of uh, think of this because um, the planning craze the the January craze will eventually um, come we are in December and um, you know, um, usually people get uh, really anxious about planning out their year uh, in advance 
and um, they sit down and they try to plan and I did this I was one of those people also and I do it right uh, you know I will do it um, this month also but I just wanted to um, show you that it doesn't have to like come out of you directly onto the paper you can uh, onto the paper you can just um, get a piece of scratch paper and uh, start writing a list of things that need to well that need to happen that you want to plan and if you look at that list and you think that some of them split into several things you can do that also and you don't have to have a messy layout or uh, you don't have to be overwhelmed you know so this is how my planning works this is how my brain works i don't i can't just um plan something like you know out of my head and on uh, in my planner i have to think out loud on a paper first like make a list um, um you know like divide uh, a big task into smaller tasks and then try to figure out how it works you know how where it fits uh how it could be um how uh, those tasks that are on the list correlate together and then i will do a layout or uh, write them in my um planner or in my you know journal or in um in a layout like this one so I hope you got it because I think I don't think I um, expressed it enough in my uh, last video I don't think I explained it good enough in my last uh, video about my system um, uh, and uh, you know I wanted to do it uh, <laughs> good by you know I, I want to I wanted to explain it um, so that you would uh, all get it and um, start planning start um, organizing your life because i know you will want to do it <laughs> somewhere around december january so i hope this helps guys i really do and uh, right now i will um, fill in my uh, layout in my hyper planner uh, further and i will uh, do a recap at the end of this video Okay, so this is it guys I um, also wanted to tell you that um, for example my um, list here like ironing inventory admin home vacuuming bathroom um, dusting and laundry um, even if I don't do them on the same day I always can reference what needs to be done because they I they are here uh, for uh, you know that's why I write uh, them uh, down because whenever I see like I haven't done uh, like for example ironing I can schedule it or find um, kind of find uh, find time to do it on any other given day when I do have the time so this is kind of like the power of writing things down even if you don't get them you know if you if you don't um if you don't have the time to do them you can always make time to do them in the later um 
in the later days of uh, your week. Um, and that's it. I know this layout is really, really, really minimal and um, it looks like I haven't uh, put any effort into it um, in comparison with uh, last week's video, but I kind of wanted to keep it simple because I, um, I don't know, I just wanted to keep it simple, that's it. <laughs> sometimes I do um, and I know I have overwhelming amount of uh, these uh, cut outs but I I don't know like sometimes I have this great idea and everything comes together and sometimes just dots 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 <laughs> I um, this represents snow in uh, DSO, in December I want it to snow so badly and then again I don't want it to snow so I kind of I don't know so uh, that's it guys I hope you enjoyed my rambling today I hope you got inspired I hope you will give um, this video a thumbs up if you did and um, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and um, I'll see you uh, next week with um, more of my videos and um, I hope you have a wonderful day or week. Bye!